what are these goose egg bumps? How long are they supposed to last? How can we make them disappear earlier and faster? In this previous video, I talked a lot about head injuries in babies and kids, how to treat immediately, what to watch out for, and what treatment you might need to do at home. In today's video, we're going to be diving into goose egg bumps, which is another scary thing that kids may have after they've had a head injury. Goose egg bumps are large bruises that happen around the area where they've bumped their head. This usually happens because the blood vessels underneath the skin around that area pops and has some minimal bleeding under the skin and then it's seen on top of the skin on top of that area as a bruise. A lot of times these bumps may not be seen immediately, but you may start to notice it about hours or even days after the initial head injury has occurred. Goose egg bumps can last days, weeks, or even in some cases months, and they also go through multiple colors when it's healing, depending on your child's skin type. The size of the bump does not always mean it's a bad sign. We are more worried about the location where the goose egg bump occurred than the size of the bump. For instance, the goose egg bumps and swellings on the forehead and the front of the face are less concerning compared to anything on the side and at the back of the head. So how do you treat these goose egg bumps? Applying cool compresses and ice pack or frozen veggies around the area within the first few hours to 24, 48 hours actually been found to be the best remedy that helps the result faster. After the first 72 hours, cool compresses may not even make any difference and you can switch to warm compresses. Warm compresses help increase circulation and then increases resolution of the goose egg bumps after the first 72 hours. Pressing and massaging a goose egg bump does not necessarily make it resolve faster. It is actually a myth. And when you're pressing on it because your child may be uncomfortable, it may make them feel worse. But just a gentle massage or just applying the cloth is enough compared to pressing. So we usually don't recommend pressing it aggressively to help it go in. Arnica gel has been found and actually used by some to help decrease the swelling and the pain that comes with goose egg bumps. So you can try that, usually found over the counter, and it may be helpful, but generally does not hurt. Because goose egg bumps can last a while, weeks to months, and change different colors, I usually tell families to have recordings or maybe photos on their phone to show what the progression is. Of course, if it's lasting longer, you want to discuss your regular physician, or if it's getting bigger, or your kids has any of the red flags I'm going to talk about next, you definitely want to discuss with your pediatrician or the ER doctor. While a lot of these goose egg bumps are mild and most of them require just treatment at home, supportive care and patients, here are some reasons I want your child checked out even if they are acting normally. Any child younger than six months who has a goose egg bump needs to be evaluated. They're difficult to assess mentally and it's hard to tell if the child is okay versus not. In some scenarios, based on the size, we may actually consider imaging. If the area of the bump appears to have a dent, it may be concerning for an underlying fracture, broken bone underneath, so we always want that evaluated. If the goose egg bump starts to feel squishy and soft, we also want to get that checked out. The large goose egg bumps on the sides and on the back of the head, we always recommend them getting that checked out. And of course, if your child is developing darken around their eyes, which we call raccoon eyes, or at the back of the ears, we get concerned about what we call, we call the base of the skull fracture in addition to the bump, and we want that to be checked out as well. Now that you know about goose egg bumps, what they are, how long they last, I hope this makes you more comfortable and you know when to observe your child at home and also when to seek care for them to either get head imaging or for the assessment of the skin. Leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know if your child has ever had a goose egg bump, how big it is, how concerned you are, and if they required any treatment, let me know also. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.